All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2025. In this question, there is uh, an integration given, the definite integral of this form. And then we're asked to find out what will be i 9,14 and i 10,13. And we have to choose one of these options. So one thing when we look at it, we may try to think that we should solve this integration, but um, we, we are not sure as in how to solve this, right? So though this function uh, or rather this particular integration is called a beta function, uh, but right now without knowing that and what is the integration of that, we can still solve this. So how do we solve this is, we just substitute the value whatever is given to us. So this is i 9,14. So if I substitute the value of 9,14, what will that be? So this will be integration of zero to one. And this will be x raised to the power nine minus one, which will be eight. And then into one minus x raised to the power 13 because 14 minus one, which is 13 dx. So this is what is my first expression. Then the second expression is simply 10 comma 13, right? Now, if I again just write this down, I would get this as zero to one. And then this will be x raised to the power nine into into one minus x raised to the power 12. And then what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to sort of add these two together, right? So we are supposed to add these two together. So what we will do, we'll just add them. So this is i 9 comma 14 plus i 10 comma 13. And then when I add these, what will happen here is that this will become zero to one. And then x raised to the power eight into one minus x raised to the power 13 plus x raised to the power nine into one minus x raised to the power 12. I could take x raised to the power eight comma directly. I'm just doing it in, or rather let's write this down into one minus x raised to the power 13. And then plus again, x raised to the power nine into one minus x raised to the power 12. And then we'll have to just do this summation, right? Once I do this summation, what do I get? I get zero to one and then x raised to the power eight into one minus six raised to the power 12 can be taken common, right? And this could be simply one minus x is left over here and then plus x is left over here. And then that gets canceled out, right? And what I'm left with is x raised to the power eight and then into one minus x raised to the power 12. And then we will compare it from the options which we are having. And this is one of those options which will actually verify, right? If I substitute x equals to nine, this will become x raised to the power eight. And if I substitute 13, then this will become one minus x raised to the power 12, right? And that is what is my answer, right? So that is all it is. We just had to substitute these values and sum, up, sum them up and then we would get our answer over here. We don't even have to solve the integration here. All right. So if you have got any questions about this, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.